is actually MakerBot's sixth year at CES, and we're here at CES 2015, and we're actually showing the MakerBot 3D ecosystem. So 3D printing isn't just about the printer anymore, it's about what you can do with it. So we actually have booth partners, we have GE First Build that are showing off real-time prototyping with their MakerBots, they're making uh, accessories for the new smart refrigerator. We have Martha Stewart who is transforming the design process and her designers are in our booth showing how they use MakerBots to design everyday items and prototype and actually have finished products for people to 3D print. And then we have a school in our booth, Whitby School, and they're showing how kids are using 3D printing and how it's being used in the education setting. Another very exciting area for us is our announcements of what we made at CES 2015. And for MakerBot, we announced new MakerBot composite PLA filaments. Uh, we have four different filaments that we announced. We announced bronze, iron, maple, and limestone. Uh, we also have professional services, and then we have partnerships with software companies like the Foundry. So we, we have a lot going on this year. Some of the new items that we've made with the new MakerBot PLA composite filaments, this is bronze. It's actually been, um, it's a chalice that was made with our free app MakerBot Print Shop with a little swipe of a finger and it was 3D printed and you can see there are a couple little areas that are actually naturally patini. Um, it's getting a little green tinge to it. Those were just hit with a little wire brush. We have uh, maple and iron. So this, you can see the wood grain on it. You can actually sand the maple, you can stain it. The iron head has the heft and feel of actual real iron. The iron's actually magnetizable. So really fun. And these are coming out later this year. We've really uh, created our MakerBot Replicator 3D printer line with thinking about the future. So we, we don't want our customers to have to change their printer every couple months. So we've actually created it with a MakerBot Replicator 3D printer platform that includes the MakerBot Replicator Smart Extruder. So now we're really starting to see the potential of the Smart Extruder because we're going to be creating new MakerBot Replicator Smart Extruder with the new material. So when you want to print in bronze, you just snap out your smart extruder and put a new one in and you're ready to go. Uh, it has a camera, it has Wi-Fi, it has networking capabilities. We're coming out with full remote monitoring and 3D printing capabilities on your smartphone this year. So you can be here in Las Vegas you can go on your phone and you can actually start your printer in London. <laughs> so this last year we had a lot of announcements. Uh, at CES 2014 we announced three new 3D printers. We announced five software applications and then we also announced partnerships. So 2014 was about creating licensed content. So we did that with Sesame Street, Martha Stewart, Ugly Doll, Hello Kitty. And the goal of that was really to make 3D printing easy and accessible. So these are designs that you don't have to have any 3D printing or design experience. You can just download it and 3D print it. 2015 for MakerBot is really about showcasing what you can do with a MakerBot. It's about building our ecosystem, making 3D printing easy and accessible for more people, giving them tools so they have a, a dedicated support team there to help them if they have an issue. We have learning programs, we have design services, we have apps and partnerships and licensed content. So it brings all of the components that touch 3D printing together and it makes it easier and accessible for everyone.